All right, this show goes out to that old gentleman who has been accused of being me. He's being persecuted by young people who's running around screaming just because he has a deep, melodic voice like me. This goes out to him. Keep your head up, sir. Don't let them little rascals get you down. Little kids, sit down. I see you walking up to him, trying to ask him if they know this is not him. This is me, Brother Hot Tail. And not that guy sitting or standing in front of the screen. And I appreciate all those that's using this material for educational purposes. Get the youth the knowledge, the culture. Let's build! Great, great, great Coogee Chocolate family, family, family. Last week was hard. And this week is starting off with crazy dreams for me. I don't know what's in the ether out there, but I'm getting some growth. Hey, family, 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 you know there's no better place to be standing than right here in the congregation of the mighty. In the home of the stubborn minority, in the place where your hustle builds muscle, this is Giami Journey Media. <laughs> I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. And of course, you know this is a heart of a Simba production, and we on that Our Thing podcast. Let them know, Simba. We're doing this thing all day, air day, where we stride. Well, actually, we're not going to stride today. Today, we are going to blow up some old paradise. Oh, man. I anime, anime, anime. Before we get into the music, we know that we have to give a round of applause because we are firmly in the week of Amani. Give it up, give it up. For those who are not initiated, those this is the week of Imani, the week of Imani, and I have put together a packet for you, right, for the uninitiated, for you, this is the week of trust. Give it up, give it up, we are in the week of trust, we want to give it up for the money babies and the trust babies. And of course... Of course, we are in the week of Kuji Chagalia. And for the uninitiated, that is the day. My fault, the day of Kuji Chagalia. And that is the day of self determination in the M7 system. Give it up. Man, let's go. Let's go and get this lesson, man. So today we're talking about sculpting the self. Listen. Listen, because I know some of y'all been keeping notes. Look. Because we've been coming up with these PowerPoints. We've been helping you. Uh, we, we're trying to build. I, I don't know. I don't know what our, other folks are trying to do. But we got PowerPoints, right? To help you transform your life. So here we go. Sculpting the Self, the Divine Journey of Kooji Chagalier. So here we go. Anime, can I have some music, please? Bring it in nice and slow. And smooth, please. If you could, please, can you do that for me? Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. For those that don't know, anime is a phoenix, not an owl. 
You got the owls on the cover. And an uh, old man. So I wonder what that got to do. Oh, the proverb is on the flyer. Okay. All right. Anime, bring that music up, baby, please. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, y'all been back there creating? That, that's nice. Go ahead. Get you a nice little hair bob going on and listen to the lesson of the day. Sculpting itself, the divine journey of Kuji Chagalia. Dear beloved tribe, as we tread upon the second grounds of Amani, we are today cradled in the empowering embrace of Kuji Chagalia. Also known as self determination. For those uninitiated out there. A principle that echoes the call of self-determination. On this divine day, we delve into the profound art of self-definition. Let me say that again. It's an art, family. The profound art of self-definition. The profound art of self-definition. All right. A journey that beckons us to sculpt. See, that's one of those words. Somebody out there. Sculpt are beings in alignment with the core of our values and the whispers of our aspirations. Now, I'm trying to stick to the script, but many of us, right, have allowed others to define us. We have given up the art of self-definition and have given in to group or others being able to define us so we don't hear our whispers and our aspirations for who we want to be we hear others we hear their whispers we hear their aspirations we spend our time trying to become that when that is taking us away from our actual journey but hold on back on script the essence of Kuji Chagalia resonates with the rhythm of spiritual wellness, reminding us that the path towards an enriched spirit is paved with the stones of self-awareness, self-expression, and self-empowerment. As we define our essence, we unfurl the petals of our spiritual wellness, blossoming into the beings we are destined to be, resonating with the symphony of authenticity. The majestic journey of self-definition is akin to a sculptor chiseling away the superfluous revealing that's a beautiful word. Y'all got that? Su superfluous. Right? Revealing the masterpiece that resides within. It's about peeling away the layers of external expectation and social methods and societal modes and self-doubt to reveal the core of our unique and divine self. Here are three power steps. One, two, three. Three power steps. One, two, three. Three power steps. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Look like it's three of them. Three power steps. Oh, let me go. On. I got to. All right. Three power steps. Let's get it. Step one, reflection. Told you. All of these are nothing but repeats, family. All you got. If you just grab the basics of all of these power steps, regardless of what principle you want and start utilizing it, you are going to live better than 95% of the population on this planet. Listen to me. I, but I guess y'all ain't going to hear me. Reflection. Dedicate time to introspection. Reflect on your values, beliefs, and aspirations. Envision the person you strive to be and the impact you yearn to make. Number two, expression. Courageously express your authentic self in your daily interactions, decisions, and contributions. Let the world witness the beauty of your unique colors. 
Oh, y'all. Taking it back there. All right, anime, I got you. Anime and Simba. Uh, is that Simba on the wheels of steel? All right, my fault. Affirmation. Affirm your work, your journey, and your growth daily. With each affirmation, strengthen the resolve to live a life true to your essence. As you walk the path of self-definition, may the spirit of Kuji Chagalia envelop you with the courage to stand tall in your truth, the wisdom to embrace the journey of self-discovery, and the love to honor the divine uniqueness within you and others. May our tribe, your community, some of y'all even in those schools that you are, thrive in a lot of self-determination, nurturing a garden of spiritual wellness, rich in authenticity, love, collective empowerment, with boundless love and faith in our journey. Wow. That was pretty good. All right. All right, y'all know what it is. Anime or Simba, whoever, whichever one of you is in control of this, turn it down. Oh, that was smooth. Okay, all right, all right. Where we at? Now we at? It's the proper proper. You know, you proper, know. Proper proper time. Proper proper proper. Proper but a day. Proper but a day. Here we go. As we that was that wasn't that smooth, y'all. Y'all was doing real good all the way up. That wasn't smooth at all. But anyway, the proper of the day. As we navigate the profound waters of Kuch Chakli, the principle of self-determination. We are graced by ancient whispers of wisdom that transcend through time and space. Today, we are guided by the profound proverb, he who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is enlightened. Lao Tzu. That's the dude that wrote the proverb, y'all. In the embrace of Kuji Chakli, we find the courage to delve into the depths of our being, to explore the uncharted territories of our soul, and to unfold the layers of our consciousness. It's within this sacred exploration that we discover the essence of who we truly are and the boundless potential that lies therein. The proverb of the day beckons us to embark on a journey of self-discovery, illuminating the path towards self-definition. As we strive to know ourselves, we unravel the threads of enlightenment that weave the fabric of our spiritual wellness. Each thread a revelation of our values, desires, and unique essence that defines our existence. In knowing ourselves, we unlock the doors to a realm, uh, a realm where self-determination reigns supreme, where our actions resonate with the symphony of authenticity and where our lives become a living testament to the principle of Kuji Chagalia. Today, as we reflect on a timeless proverb, Let's commit to nurturing a sanctuary. That's a nice word. Nurturing a sanctuary of self-awareness. To honoring the beauty of our unique selves. And to walking the luminous paths of enlightenment that leads to a garden of spiritual wellness. May the spirit of Kuji Chakalia guide us through the corridors of self-discovery. Leading us to the ever-glowing lamp of enlightenment. And may... This self-knowledge empower us to create reality that echoes the purity of our essence, the strength of our determination, and the serenity of our spiritual wellness. All right, so that brings us to the end. And family, we will be talking about the folk tale, the ugly duckling. Yo. That is the folktale from ruffled feathers to a graceful swim. The journey of Imani and the ugly duckling. Right now, family, I want to say great Imani to you once again. I want to say great Coochie Chaglia because it is the day of Coochie Chaglia, the week of Imani. And this is Brother High Tim. And leave that man alone because he not me. We are out.